In this video I will explain you on how to install Elino on the OMI Loom. Warning. Read and fully understand the operator's maintenance and safety manuals before using or servicing this machine. Failure to follow operating, maintenance or safety instructions could result in serious injury. Start with removing the flange bobbin to create more space in the area where you will install the Elino device. Cut the yarns of the flange bobbin, because there will be a new guiding system for the waste yarns on top of the device. Remove the yarns from the vertical creel. Only a small number of customers will still prefer extra lino yarns to bind the waste. In that case the vertical creel will have to be mounted back, after installing the elino. Remove the support from the flange in the vertical creel, by loosening these two bolts. For the moment put aside. Remove both the yarn guides because with the new Elino device, these will no longer be needed. This is the one on the back of the warp stop motion. And this is the one in the front of the warp stop motion. When the drop wires from the previous system are mounted on the main warp stop motion, you can remove them and put them aside to use later for the separated waste yarn detection. When the machine is equipped with the horizontal bobbin creel, the detection will stay the same, and will be on the creel itself. Do the same for the other side of the loom. Continue by loosening the warp tension. Remove all the guides for the frames that are mounted on the cross rail. Also, the one to support the warp detection. Take the warp beam out of the loom to create more space to remove the cross rail. Remove the bolts that fix the cross rail with the side of the loom. Do this on both sides of the loom. and remove the upper part of the support. To remove the cross rail, you can use a lifting strap. Make sure you are with two and remove at the same time on both sides of the loom. When you received a new cross rail from Picanol, you can start mounting the supports for the Eleno device, because the holes will be foreseen. Tied from the middle towards the outside and tighten the bolts with 40 newton meters. If you need to use the same cross rail, you will have to drill holes like showed on this plan. The values are in millimeter. You can use these holes as a reference to know the difference between the left and the right hand side of the cross rail. Make the correct marks to drill the four holes on both sides of the cross rail. Use a puncture to make sure that the holes will be at the correct spot. Make sure to use the correct protection to drill and thread tapping the holes. Start by drilling holes with a finer drill. Use a cooling product to prevent the drills from breaking. And gradually go up until diameter M10. Thread in the holes with outer diameter of the wire 10mm and pitch 1.5mm. When finished start mounting the supports for the Elino devices in the correct way. Mount back the cross rail in the loom. Don't forget to mount back the guides for the frames and the support for the backrest. This is a scheme from the electric cabling. Three cables need to be added in the loom. Cable W326A will go in the foreseen left hand side plug instead of the cable for the prewinders. 
and the two other cables go together in a plastic flexible protection tube in the correct way like showed in the scheme. Protect the two plugs, that will go to the right side of the loom through the cross rail, with tape. Pull the assembly through the cross rail. The best is to do this with two people. To prevent damage of the cables. When mounted take care there is no contact between the cables and the metal of the cross rail. Then connect the cable from the pre-winders with cable W326E to close the can circuit. There are three ways to mount the Elino on the loom, depending the number of frames mounted in the loom. These are the three possible positions. Use the position 16 frames. Only in case of more frames and full width of the fabric, the other positions will be used. Mount the Elino device on the cross rail. And tighten them with the correct torque. Do this for both sides of the loom. Only in some cases the left-hand side Elino will not be needed. Take care there is a protection mounted around each plug, against us that can go in the device. Plug in all the connectors in the left and right-hand side Elino devices. There is no wrong way of mounting. Each plug can be mounted on either the left or the right connection. Be careful not to damage the wires when mounting. Fix the cabling in the foreseen guide on the Elino device. Mount back the warp beam in the loom. And mount back the support with the flange bobbin and hand tighten. When not needed anymore, remove the vertical creel. Put the flange bobbin directly on the shaft instead of mounted on the extra arm. Make sure the separated detection is mounted and connect with the foreseen cable. Draw in the waste yarns in the drop wires. Draw in the waste yarns in the foreseen guide. When extra lino yarns are needed, never draw them in together with the yarns of the waste bobbin. Put the LC device in the frames on crossing and mount this guide, so that the waste yarns are leveled with the warp yarns. A second guide will be mounted in case extra lino yarns are foreseen. Put the shed open and mount the guide leveled with the yarns from the bottom shed. Mount the Elino bobbins in the device. Make sure the bobbins contain the same amount of thread. Otherwise, the load will not be equal during rotation. Thread up each bobbin like shown in the movie. Because different articles are woven on the loom it is possible to adjust the tension of spring or replace with another spring when needed. The different springs are indicated with colors. Make sure to change the software that is delivered with the conversion. And switch the devices on in the display. Set the preferred crossing time in the turning direction. 
and check if everything is working correct on both sides. If not, it's possible you will have to change the physical reference of the devices. When finished mount the cover and lock. Make sure the warp yarn does not touch the cover. If so, move the Elino device. Thank you for watching this short e-learning video. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.